Hello everyone, in this video I am going to share every detail about the GATE examination. So in this video I am going to share why you should write GATE exam and the eligibility applying for GATE exam and the pattern of these GATE examination and the negative marking in the GATE exam and then the qualifying marks for the GATE exam and the ranks and cutoffs for these masters and PSUs and the main question is what we should do after qualifying GATE. So whether we should do masters or PSUs and in my case PSU is a big no and I will tell you the reason and I will end this video with my session for researching about the gate for 7 consecutive days whether it's worth it or not. So without investing one second let's get into the video. And the first one is why we should write gate exam. See the most important reason for applying for gate is either to do masters or to apply for PSUs. So the second reason would be to apply for PSUs and there will be the people who will write gate because of status quo because they want to show their rank to all the people like I got this much rank in the gate exam. So these are the main reasons for applying for gate examinations and the eligibility for applying for gate is 10 plus 2 plus 3 like third year in your BTEC in architecture or engineering or anything. So basically minimum age limit is third year and there is no maximum age limit for applying gate exam there will be like students postgraduate and many people are applying for gate exam and the pattern of gate examination see gate examination is consists of 100 marks so for these 100 marks there will be 65 questions so 65 question in this 65 questions 10 mark question will be from general aptitude and then 55 questions from technical paper like the subject which you have chosen so basically from subject so in this question there will be two types of question either one mark question and then two marks question so in this general aptitude there will be five one mark questions and then five two marks question so this is the structure in this technical paper there will be 25 one mark question and then 30 two marks question and these are the questioning structure and there will be type of questions like mcqs msqs and then NATS. So MCQs matlab there will be only single answer for every question. MSQ matlab there will be multiple answers. So multiple answers will be there for every question and the NATS matlab it's like fill in the blanks. So there will be no options. So you have to fill the answer in the fill in the blanks. So the entire exam will be computer based. So it's a computer based exam and then it's computer based exam and it is of 3 hours. So exam will be from 3 hours. And the negative marking. See the negative marking will be like 1 by 33rd of every 1 mark. So negative marking will be 0 0.33 marks for every 1 mark question. 0 0.66 marks for every 2 marks question. And you should remember that negative marking is only for MCQs. There is no negative marking for MSQs and NATS. So this is the pattern of the examination and the negative marking and then comes the qualifying marks and the qualifying marks for gate examination is 25 plus okay 25 plus marks is, is for general category okay and then there will be reservations okay OBC OBC 90% of general category which is like 90% of 25 plus marks or 26 or 27 we don't know that right so 90% of the general category and for SC and ST cast is 66% of general category so 66% of 25 marks so this is the basic qualifying marks for the different categories and then comes the ranks and cutoffs so the ranks and cutoffs will be declared here okay and then the question arises: what we should do after completing gate see after qualifying gate and qualifying gate is not so easy because every year nearly 8 to 10 lakh people will register for gate examination in that registered people there will be 6 to 7 lakh people 6 to 7 lakh people will appear for the gate exam okay and then in that in that 6 to 7 lakh people only 18 percent of the people will be qualified you can observe that in that 67 lakh people there will be only 18 percent who will be qualifying and you can observe that how much tough is gate exam and it looks like there will be only 60 questions and for just one marks and it will be very easy no it's not gate exam is very very tough because only 18 percent people 
are qualifying and it's not like you can't achieve it it's very easy if you study well and the question is what we should do after completing gate see after completing gate we have two options either to do masters or to join psus and the people who want to do master you have to join master undoubtedly because if your rank is from 1 to 200 there is a chance in getting iit in iits okay if your rank is in between 1 to 1000 you will still get in iit seat but not in the branch which you want okay it may be chemical engineering or something else so you cannot get in your branch so basically if you want to join in iits so better to get rank in between 1 to 200 okay and the next one is psus see psus is a big no and i'll tell you the reason i'll just rub this and the next one is psus and this is the most important thing because so many people who are applying for gate will be concentrating on these psus and these psus are not so easy in this india in our india there will be three types of psus maharatna navaratna and then mini ratna so these are the three types of psus in our country and also like central psus and also state psus maharatna means companies with higher valuation and the lesser evaluation lesser valuation so these are the three types of psus and the criteria for applying psus is there will be age criteria you should be like 21 to 20 years of age and then you should get 60 percent in your btech btech percentage should be 60 percent and also your minimum rank should be in between 1 to 200 so if your rank is in between 1 to 200 there is a high chance of getting a psu job but if you are above 200 the chances of getting a psu job is not so easy and you have to lose your hopes so cutups will be different for each and every branch and you can check it here and i will also give the links in the description so that you can check about all these details and the number of vacancies according to the google vacancies is in between 4000 to 10000 every year and it's not like there will be 10000 so barely it will be from 4 to 5000 vacancies okay it's not so more than and you might think like if you get a good rank you'll be placed in any psu it's not like that separate psus will recruit from separate branches like but suppose if you have written an exam in civil engineering there will be only some companies who will be hiring civil engineers so they'll be not like a, they will hire everyone they will only hire the people whom they required and this is the details which companies hires of different categories and then comes pros and cons so pros and cons pros would be like job security decent amount of package decent amount no stress because it's a government company right no stresses will be there and the cons of joining PSU job is more than that the cons of joining PSU job is PSU job is not for the person who wants to achieve greatest thing in your life so if you want to achieve great things so great things can't be achieved and then you will fall into middle class and i'll tell you the reason because you'll be getting good amount of package like one lakh per month but if you start your life if you start your family then the inflation is increasing in india and the cost of living is increasing but the improvement i mean but the improvement of salary in government job is not so easy the calorie salaries will be improved slowly at starting salaries will be high and then increment would be low so at first salaries were high in government jobs and the increment of salaries will be very very low and then you can't upscale nowadays technology is increasing right if you can't upscale yourself you can't sustain in this society because society is updating you have to update yourself with the new skills okay so my dear friends if you are writing gate exam only for psu and you are preparing for one year or two years i won't recommend you in that two years you can learn the greatest skill and you can get a high paying job than a government job because you have skills and companies will definitely hire you if you spend two years of time on learning any new skill if your goal is to do master then i will highly recommend you to write gate but if your goal is to get a psu job i won't recommend you i'm not demotivating you but i'm saying the fact okay and you can get a high paying job if you have the greatest skills so if you don't know what are the new skills check out this video on top paying skills 
in the internet so that's all for this video until then it's your human krishna signing off bye